This is the Gebret Falls bottom inlet valve. It's suitable for all bottom mount styles of systems. It has a quiet and fast filling operation. It works on pressures as low as 10 kPa to a maximum of 1000 kPa. It features an easy water level adjustment and a simple maintenance procedure. The valve is also made of a chemical resistant material, so just in case there's any cleaning solvents in the system, it won't harm the use of the valve. You've installed the Falls valve into the system. The next step is to adjust for correct water level. And that's easy to do so. On the back of the valve, you'll notice there is a water level line indicator across the back of the valve. That indicates the water level that's required for the system that it's going into. And to raise the valve up and down is simple. Simply remove this clip by pushing it down and out. Once it's out, all you do is twist the valve and lift it up or down to suit the desired water level, then twist it back into place. Reinstate the blue clip from the bottom up and make sure you hear it click into place. And that's how you adjust your water level of your system. To service the Gebret Falls inlet valve is very simple to do due to the fact there's only one working part in the valve and that is the lever and diaphragm here. To access the diaphragm you just need to simply remove the lever by turning it clockwise until you hear it click and pull it out. Once you've pulled it out, you have the diaphragm and lever. You may wish to run the diaphragm under some running water to clean out any impurities which may have flushed through the system. Or you can reinstall a new lever and diaphragm as a complete kit. To reinstall the lever, simply reverse the process. Locate the, the slots on the top and push it in and then turn it anti-clockwise to lock it in. And in doing so, ensure that the lever is located into the float valve. To clean the line strainer, it's located at the bottom of the inlet valve, like so. Simply remove that with a pair of pliers and remove. Run this under running water to clean it and reinstall, like so. Once that's in, tighten back up your water supply, turn it on and check for correct operation of the system. For any more tips and tricks or product information, head over to gebret.com.au.